Why my friends? Well, as you saw in the first part of this continuing video, I got quite a bit of the frame together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to build, and or should say assemble, some of these subsections. Like I'm going to start working on the front winch. I'm going to start working on the rear bumper assembly. And, well, that's where I'm at right now. I'm starting with the rear bumper assembly. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to cut out all of the parts that are going to be needed and they're going to be sitting you know right there i got a little tub i can put them in when when i decide to do that <laughs> i may not but what i'm going to do is cut out all the parts and i actually have to go through a couple of sprues to find some of the other parts that i need they weren't all on the first sprue the a sprue As you can see <laughs> that even though I lowered my video camera rate way down when you speed up boy you can really still see that banding and that uh, irritating so I'm gonna go back to using my phone for doing the recording
since most of these parts were actually on the small side, I had a lot of cleanup to do. Where the sprue was attached, Dave, I don't know how they could have done it differently, I really don't, so this is just the easiest way to take and scrape and then sand. Scrape and then sand. Okay, I'm using right now the Tamiya Extra Thin uh, Fast Setting Adhesive, and I'm, I don't know if I'm that big of a fan on it, to be honest with you. Yes, it does, you know, go into the crevices and stuff like that, but, I mean, I have to really leave that part set for a minimum of an hour before it really starts to work. So what I've done... I've gone ahead, I bought a couple of tubes off of Amazon uh, of the regular old school testers adhesive. I mean, let me know what you think, please. Okay, now I am looking through the sprues because I'm trying to find the parts for the front uh, bumper assembly where the winch is located. I mean, I found the string and, you know, the side parts, but I, boy, I had to really dig. I mean, like I said before, that should have been kind of sort of on the same sprue, I would think or at least somewhere closer to it, maybe on the B sprue, because most everything so far for the chassis has been on the A sprue for this. And when they, this is supposed to be, I'm going to assume, metal cable. Uh, it, the thread's going to look nice, but uh, like everything else, just like extension cords, it gets all tangled up. <laughs>
Okay, I had bought a bottle of the Tamiya. Now, this camera I found out after watching this video does not auto focus. And you'll see that here shortly when I try to show. But what it is, it is the Tamiya brush aluminum. Now, I'm going to use that and I'm going to drag my tow cable, aka string, through it to give it kind of a, a metallic look. And then once I get it onto the spool, I'm going to try to see if I can add some rust features to it. Now, dummy me didn't even think about it. Um, <laughs> I got eyedroppers. So what I really should have done to keep from having it be mess like I made, I just got in there and got a couple of eyedroppers for it. But here's something else. No matter how much paint when you first take it out, it's not going to be enough. Trust me on this one. I, you'll see here shortly. Yeah, like I said, you can't read it. Even zooming in did not help any at all. I have used this technique before when, you know, back in the old days when I was doing spark plug wiring. I would take a thread and I would literally, you know, run it through some paint. But boy, I'm telling you what, those clips I got with my uh, stand for holding the body, ah, look at that. It holds it so nice and then I can hang it when I'm finished above my bench to let it dry, which it did very, very nicely. Now, did I get it thoroughly 100% coated? No, I really wish I did. It's it's difficult. Even here shortly, you're going to see when I put some extra paint down because I did not have enough. I wish I had done a little bit more or found a better way to do it. And like I said, if you ever think you got enough paint, just add a little bit more. Then you'll be all right.
as always, my friends, thank you so very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment. I mean, like I said, I really enjoy y'all's comments. I really, really, really do. They, they help me try to improve. So, till the next my, time, my friends, always, please, always, please like Please share, please subscribe, ring that bell, and like I just said, please comment.